Good luck. All right, here we go. Central file, best file. Never lets me down. Ever. Except when it does. Um. All right, Lily plays this thing. <laughs> okay. Uh. So Kaolina was saying, or Shogi Harbor was saying, I could bring this out, right? That somehow this is acceptable in some positions. This looks interesting. I'm always tempting fate. Playing stuff I've not played before. But it makes me pretty unpredictable. Unless you can predict that I'm going to play the unpredictable move. In which case, I'm pretty predictable. Yeah. Like, I don't know if opening the diagonal is playable. It must be. Like, a lot of things are playable. But we're always trying to find that one super edgy move that just, like, tests can a player actually lose in the opening. Which, perhaps I shouldn't play this way. Yeah, it's pretty much Urashino. Let's call it, like, Diet Urashino. Because, um... I don't know. I don't feel like playing exactly the mainline stuff. I don't play the static rook part of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's unlike the traditional Yoshino, this time they aren't even pointing at a common target. Who knows where they're going to strike next? Not me. Um, that's who. All right, put the king back. So for one tempo here, this square next to my lance is prone. But um, uh, it'll be fine. What could possibly happen? All right. We've defended this square. Um, let's give the king an escape if it needs that escape. Um, and yeah, I'm just debating like a lot of things. I'm questioning the timing of bringing my silver up again. Although this looks like a good timing to do it. Um, also, if Lily's considering doing the thing, this should be my opportunity to suggest not doing the thing. By that, we all know, like, this is... The king goes under the lance, they call it Anaguma. Um, so if she's considering that, I'm saying my pawn is on its way. Um, we'll see how that goes. She doesn't like the thing. Yeah, okay. I know she doesn't like playing against it, if I remember right. She plays some very strong attacks against it, if I've seen a couple of her games, but um, but yeah, just in case this is something being considered. Oh, okay, we'll take that under advisement. <sighs> hmm. Seems like we have a similar fighting spirit today. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of experimenting with ideas. Uh, well, I did ask for this, didn't I? <laughs> all right, all right. So, crap, how do I play this? <laughs> um... 
give them another chance to choose, like, do they really want to? They're hovering back and forth. They haven't yet committed completely to it. So I'm not pushing my edge pawn until we see one way or the other if things happening. Um, I might end up pushing it eventually, but I don't want to encourage the thing because it's complicated. Alright. Yeah, this is fine. I just didn't want to be the first one putting my silver in the center like that. Um... So what is this? <sighs> okay, fine. It's not like I'm bringing my silver to the left anyway. Okay, so now I could uncover my bishop if I wanted to make things more exciting. Hmm. Well, we'll continue reading, but the saying was push the even file pawns, right? Pretty sure it's pushed the even file pawns. I joke, but um, this is blocking my bishop, so we move it. And in the event that the thing does happen, this pawn's not too terribly placed, although it does block a knight from jumping in immediately. Um, this is actually useful for striking at one of the heads of this castle. But, yeah, potentially the bishop could be useful on this other diagonal. Also still possible is the Urashino diagonal. So, we've discouraged this idea. It'll probably still happen anyway. Um... But how long can we discourage it before it happens? That's the question. None of my pieces are effective. I'm employing an almost entirely pawn-driven strategy. Hmm. We'll see how that turns out. All right. Um, it does defend. Hmm. Well, um, their silver would defend very strongly against mine if mine were to go to the right. Um, so I think I'm looking at moving my silver to the left, which could let some interesting tactics flow here. Um, not super well situated for those tactics. 
Or I could just open the diagonal like a reasonable person would. Man, do I have to be reasonable today? Fine, we'll be reasonable. So be it. This saves a tempo overplaying Urashino. <laughs> it has the downside that none of the other pieces are placed well, but we've saved one tempo. We didn't have to move the bishop. <laughs> Mm. We'll see how this turns out. But yeah, the next idea is to try to cover the 5-5 five, five square one way or the other. Hmm. My silver's needed to attack, isn't it? So, yeah, it's looking like silver 6-6 six, six is uh, coming next. I do like my silver where it's at at the moment, but the tactics are pretty sharp. All right, all right. The thing has been played. We're going to quick attack against the thing. Yeah. Is it ever too late for Anaguma? I don't know. But yeah, if you play this, I'm playing the pawn push. Because I'm not terribly creative right now. I mean, you saw my attempts to be creative. We got this cute little shape. Um, but... Yeah, we need something effective here. Okay. That I did not expect. Um. Interesting. <sighs> so, not that I know how to exploit that, but that surprised me. I wonder if they're just she's waiting for me to move my silver before she does something. I guess I have not made things easy for myself. Um, so, oh, sorry. Silver something. Pawn takes silver. Let's see, if I bring the silver up, I'm threatening to push this pawn. So bring the silver up. Uh, pawn five, five. Pawn takes silver, takes silver, takes. I win. That, okay, so silver up. <sighs> What's confusing here is that, like, 
there's pawn. There's squares on which I would like to take this pawn, and squares on which I'd not like to take it. Um, yeah, my silver needs to be on this left side of the board. So if they move this pawn to hit, do I take, because that looks crazy. And allows their rook in. Um, I can just move my bishop up, bypass all of this, and strike on the eighth file directly, or on the edge directly. Um, I could also bring the bishop up, and then they hit this with the, or she hits it with the pawn, and that's not great. Um, So strange. Yeah, let's make way for my rook. This looks a bit suspect, because, like, my bishop would prefer to be other places. But so would my rook. So would this gold. Oh, oh. What? No. Okay, this is interesting. What does this mean? Silver, I threaten a pawn, they want to explode. This is strange. Bishop hits this. She defends it somehow. Knight up. No, I want my rook on the eighth file. Everything else be damned, I want my rook there. Um, or on the edge file. This position is so strange. Man, as much as I want my silver next to her king, it's not happening. Um... Okay, we're going to cover this square before some disaster strikes. Um, and we have to do that so that I can move my rook over without a disaster striking on the center file. And once the rook's moved over, we can complete Nino Castle. And then figure out how to attack this. Um... Just the tactics to move my silver the other way don't seem to be there. And do seem to be here. My king is so exposed. I should consider diving into the half mino here before doing anything too tricky. Um. Oh, this pawn's hanging. Check that out. Okay, I didn't think this would actually happen because now there is no defense on the eighth file. Um, or rather, the knight would have to climb up for there to be a way to defend this uh, pawn push. 
So the knight's coming up the board. Um, maybe it's fine. This is not how I imagined things would go. But yeah. So I'm threatening pawn push, pawn takes, and then another pawn drop. Material becomes kind of irrelevant very quickly here. Um, but also I'm doing okay on material. So this is surprising. The one thing she has favoring her is that my king is very exposed at the moment. Um, but yeah, if we do this pawn advance and start exchanging stuff, and her rook ends up on 5-5, five, five, I could drop a bishop on 4-6 here, hitting the rook and the pawn behind it. Rook could go back and I could start hitting the rook and hitting the king, and um, I just don't know. Yes, my king's exposed, but um, yeah, this is like a halfway completed castle. It makes this what's about to transpire very exciting. Also, I could push on the edge. One takes, lance takes, lance takes, and like any drop right behind the lance could be very strong. So, well, then the king could actually run out of the Anaguma. And I promote, and I don't know. Alternatively, if I do a pawn drop here, she could pawn drop on 9-1. Um, yeah, so I don't, don't have a mate there. My silver's too far away for me to actually mate. Yeah, someone doesn't believe in my attack. Would that be me? That definitely could be me. Um, but yeah, I think there's more than one skeptic here. Uh, a healthy skepticism is a good thing. Okay, wow. That's exciting. Um... What's the next move? Because I was really expecting this gold to move up and just taunt me. And that didn't happen. So pawn up, pawn takes, rook takes, rook over, rook exchange. If gold takes, rook drop, rook drops somewhere so I don't get to take the bishop for free. Um... I'm not winning anything on the spot here. The silver's pinned. My king is super exposed, but the silver is pinned. Jeez. What a shape. My king is not in a good spot here. Okay, let's tuck into this castle. We've got time. <laughs> Next, consider completing Mino Castle. Hmm. Interesting proposition.
I just really didn't like my king being so close to the knight and the bishop and everything else here. All right. This knight's trapped, but I don't have a way to win it. Um, this is so awkward. If I give away a silver, things get very awkward very quickly. Um, Wait, if the silver's pinned, I could just take a pawn and chase the bishop. So unless there's some magnificent tactic that radically changes all of that. Uh, I take a pawn, I take a pawn, I'm chasing a bishop. This has to be right. Since nothing else works, this has to... Well, they could chase my golds. <sighs> it's not trivial. But like this is my best opportunity to do something tricky. Oh, my bishop has that covered. What am I talking about? Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Not tricky at all. <laughs> um, I can't believe we both went into this. I can believe that one of us would, but... Mm. All right, let's see it. Oh, welcome. Yes, yes, it is time for some exciting shogi. You got here just at the right time. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I think we both stubbornly stuck to our plans here, and um, we're going to see who comes out more stubborn at the end of this, uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess she does get uh, two generals for the bishop if I get swept up in all this. And I did, so she gets two generals. But this is fine. So we've played some sort of semi-Anaguma thing, and I'm one turn away from pushing my edge pawn. Yep. So... I think I just take the bishop, right? And then I drop bishop here and take this pawn, promote. Doesn't look so bad. If I don't take it, the bishop runs away. 
Um, and I don't have any crushing follow up to the pawn up. Bishop runs, pawn takes, gold takes, pawn drop, gold over. Yeah, I don't have anything crushing against that, so we're just going to take this. Um, so, now I think we want to break the king. I don't know how to do this. <sighs> yeah, it's the edge that needs to be broken, isn't it? It would help if I had all the right pieces. Um, need to give that some time. Alright, this has to be correct in spirit. Pawn takes, lance takes. Actually, pawn takes is just striking pawn right behind it. Looks interesting too. Um, Who needs a lance anyway? It'll be fine. Now, do I push my 8th file pawn? It looks interesting. It looks like a way to lose my rook. Maybe we don't push that. Even I have some tolerance for what I'm willing to give away. But yeah, this is kind of interesting. Um, so maybe this strengthens or weakens an 8th file push. I'm not really sure. There's a lot of stuff that could happen here. There's so much stuff that could happen in this position. Yeah, this king running is part of that. Um... Okay, this looks correct again. Um, so I'm threatening a bishop drop back here, and the bishop takes here. Um, also threatening rook takes here. Oh, if I bishop drop on the back rank, this gold could promote or move up. Um, Um, I'm imagining so many things here. Uh, 
I think this is best, even though they say to check is to chase, and in general that's not good. I think there might be reasons for this to be decent in this particular position. Um... Hmm. I'm just not seeing anything. This is not good. I thought it was okay. It's not. But I am running out of ideas. And maybe somehow it's fine again? Um... I didn't want my rook to get stuck. My rook's going to get stuck a different way. Um... Yeah, let's promote this before something bad happens. It's our king's safe, right? There's only an armada just sitting on the peace stand waiting to attack. Along with the other armada. If they work together, something could happen. Um, oh. Well, if that isn't a blast from the past, uh, don't know what is. Um... Clever. How do I calm down? There's not a bishop fork this game like there was the last game. I have to deal with this rook takes, or whatever piece are going to advance here. This attack would have been stronger if there were another piece, like a silver, able to recapture here immediately. Oh. Oh my goodness. I've seen this before too, haven't I? So... Tactics are possible. Um, bishop's actually better to me than a rook is to me right now. Um, We're going to play this not because I have any tremendous belief in it, but because I can't find a better move in 60 seconds. Um, there's an obvious downside to this move. But I just could not find a move. And the 
clock ticks onward and requires that I have to play a move. This is not going to end well. There's actually more than one response to that, isn't there? Yeah, I thought so. Um. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not using the rook, but this is not going in the right direction. All right, whatever. We'll have to sacrifice like this. Um, yeah, I'm just not seeing anything this game. That's okay. Um, Shogi is hard. I just wish I'd find a couple more things. Um... So we'll attempt to find tactics, but don't expect this to work. <laughs> Um, I mean, we, I guess we ultimately get a knight here, unless there's some way to defend the knight, but a knight, a knight might not be the piece I need. And there's a lot of pressure on my king at the moment. Yeah, so this defense is possible, but it commits a silver to being back here, so the silver can't attack my king directly. Um... I mean, what am I supposed to do? There's only one move that strengthens my attack, so let's play it. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Greybeard1970. And welcome to me getting crushed. Oh, this is just going to hang the pawn, isn't it? Yeah, 
or worse. All right, so this is pretty devastating. All right, what do we do about it? Option A is panic. Um, it's not looking like a bad option at the moment. There are alternatives. Um, Fine, whatever, we'll remove these rooks from the board. And try to find another way to use a rook somehow. Um... This is the closest my rook can get to this king. Yeah, I don't think this bishop drop first was the best move order. But more than likely it suffices against just about anything I could play. But I would have played it the other way around with the lance here first, and then the bishop, and then snap the pawn, and defend my king, and stuff like that. Um, but who am I to lecture, given the position I'm in? So next up, I'm playing this token sack and a bolt drop here, or something like that. I could promote the pawn and drop this way. Six one way, half dozen the other. Uh, what? What? It's playable. But why? Am I in that much trouble that this is actually good? Or is the idea that we want to see my gold go down? Um, hmm. I'm going to attempt to defend my king. This might not go well. Normally you don't want a gold sitting on the edge of the board trapping your king in. That said, normally there's not a reward for trapping your king. So um, if this work goes back, I can drop a pawn. Um, so this is demanding a sacrifice. Uh, so yeah, we're going to see a lance go down here next move. I'm going to take the lance and try to survive. Um, wait, if I take, I don't have another bit of silver lined up to take back. Uh, taking the lance might be a terrible mistake. All right, so what can we do now? Um, mm -hmm. The best laid plans are far better laid than that one. So, Fine. We'll run away. This is the plan all along. Yeah. Rip me. <laughs> um, it only looks like gloom and doom and death. That's fine. Nothing to worry about. Okay, there's something to worry about here. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well. 
That's impressive. Is this really all right? Um, it's funny, I'm the one asking the sacrifices are okay, given that. I just sacrificed everything to make this possible. Um, yeah. So. It does not look like I have a counterattack. Um. Uh, normally that would be the concept of a ladder, yes. Um, in this particular context, no. That's just a uh, teaching ladder would refer to. There's just a whole bunch of us who already are ranked and are choosing to play each other for fun. Um... Yeah, there's no escaping this mate. Uh... Yeah, I've got nothing here. Well played. Good game. Yeah. Although, officially, this game was just an uh, exhibition thing. We've done our ladder game a bit earlier. But, um... Uh, yeah, that was exciting anyhow. Um... Yeah. We had a lot of, uh going back and forth on how this should go. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe I needed to take a move out to, like, defend this sort of thing. Um, I always get a bit antsy, so I tend to resolve that, at least in Shogi, with violence. And usually it doesn't work out very well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, like, I was planning on playing this up, but, um... This rook does convince me to attack a little less violently there. Um, yeah. And this becomes very, very unclear to me. Um, whereas what I played was just losing. It was a, a throw of the dice. It was either winning or losing, and this time it does not win. So, um, Both of us have built something of a castle to support our kings, but... Uh, I, yeah, a lot of her pieces are placed aggressively, a lot of my pieces are placed 
ready to pounce at a moment's notice, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so I tried to favor just a course of action that was a bit clearer. It just happened the course of action I picked is just losing. So, um... So... Yeah, these castles are too far away to be attacked. And this looks like it's coming, sure. Um... I wonder, so if I place the thing like this, what happens? My big idea, I guess, is to bring my bishop around and win the knight. Um, and I guess there's probably some strong counter to it. I just couldn't figure this out. Okay, so if I bring the rook up, this tempts fate. That's what we're saying. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually really hard to meet. Maybe we push here now? And just say um, that we have some kind of pressure against the center. Yeah, that's not it. It's a tempting thought. It just right there, that might not be the move. Um, so obvious ideas here might not work so well. Uh, right. It's now that we've brought this gold up. Um, man, I'm tempting all kinds of fate here. Uh, so... Yeah, let's sack the bishop for this pawn and try to checkmate. We've got some pawns in store, so... Um, if I could just get more pieces, that would be great. I don't know how I get more pieces here. I guess I have to take this. Um... I mean... Yeah, I don't have the fastest attack here ever. Uh, what do we do now? I guess we take the knight. And the knight allows us to threaten to take more things. Oh, well that's cool. Uh, wow. I guess we have to defend against that threat. And this is sharp. So we keep picking up more and more pieces to attack with. Um, but does it ever work out? I don't know. This is cool. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think my attack works here. Yeah, this is something exciting that potentially could have happened. Who knows? Somehow I thought the bishop on 3-3 three, three there would be stuck and an easy target, and it's just not. 
All right. Yeah, do enjoy a uh, game with Paul and talk with you in the morning. Sorry, I was slow to respond here. Check instead, drop. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I don't know how to conduct attacks very well. Um, yeah, this is a good find. It's just super... Yeah, I don't know what that castle is, but that's hard to attack. <laughs> um, the flip side of that is that, like, every general, or at least... Yeah, I don't know, it's not a heavier castle than usual. If I could get a rook on the back rank, that could be interesting, but it's not happening here. Um, yeah. So I should just hand over the host status, because I don't really know what else to look at. Uh, I think this... Uh, yeah, in retrospect, I did need one more silver on this side. Um, makes sense. Yeah, without the silver on the side, it's very difficult for me to start any kind of an attack. Oh, well, yeah, no, that's best. Um, I see. So this was the plan all along. Well, yeah, there's no need for me to do this particular skirmish, but yeah, that that's clever. Uh, yeah, I'm just, this is a little bit too slow. Your attack will strike very quickly here, and I'm in trouble. Yeah, moving my king away from the center was a waste of a move. So I don't tend to, like, overly commit all my pieces in one direction or another. It tends to be a weakness of mine that, like, I never really shape my attack. I just choose to attack everywhere and hope something works out. Um, which is not the case this game. And usually is not the case. Uh... Hmm. Okay, so this is the thought here. That I'd have to make some decision to get that knight removed. Ultimately it did work out because I was too hasty. Oh! Yeah, that's another good plan. Jeez. I can't get my attack off the ground before, like, I'm getting mated. Yeah, that's super strong. Uh... Yeah, yeah you keep saying 5-5 five, five pawn, and, like, each particular variation 5-5 five, five pawn ends up being... Um, just like your king's a bit exposed until you get your golds near your king, but yes. Lots of attacking ideas. I can't really meet them all. Um, yeah.
There's just way too much to keep track of. Way, way, way too much to keep track of. Um, so, this is how I end up getting overrun. Um, this pawn drop. Why this? Um, Oh. Yeah. So this is the normal way to conduct this attack. Um, instead of, like, putting a pawn on a square where it influences a square I can't even use. Yeah. Right. Oh. Well, this is... Okay, yes. can't spell at all. Like, I've got this here. Um, uh, yeah. The problem I face here is that, like, it's very difficult to continue attacking, but um, I have a horse. So, horses are... Oh, jeez. Uh, I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. Uh, I'm probably in trouble again. Man, if I could get a gold, a gold general would be nice. Could just drop it there. Hit one would be mate. But there is no gold for me to grab. Um... <laughs> All right, boys back. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I'm still up material, and I prefer being on the other side of that equation, but. Nothing to do here about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. This makes far more sense. Mm, is my attack? Yeah, I'm not so sure. No, you're right. It's close, but it is exhausted. Oh well. That would have been a more interesting try. Um, or even after this, some of these exchanges. Some cases I might have had something there, but it, this never quite works out. And then now with the king defending that square, there's it's even harder for me to attack. Uh, there's as far as I can see, I've got nothing here. I would need extra moves to have something. 
Yeah. I mean, it's kind of my character. <laughs> to say, I just have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Um. And so if I do this, uh, isn't this a threat? What's going on here? Okay, that's interesting. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. This is decent. I've got a lance that could someday be used somewhere to attack. I mean, in the game, I just sack my pieces, which is obviously bad, but... Um, yeah, this is improving over the game moves, so I can only criticize so much. Um... Huh. Um, yeah, I can't refute this. Yeah, it's hard to refute any of this. No, it's all logical. Um, Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. That defends against all my shenanigans. Um, right. Um, mm, yeah, it's scary. I guess. Well, oh. Okay, right. Yeah, similar sorts of things happen in all these lines. Yeah, the, as much sense as all this makes, like, my own king is going to be under fire very soon here. So there's not too much of a point. Um, but yeah, this does improve over the game. I'm just surprised that... Oh, I didn't have four pieces attacking, so I should not have expected to mate. Yeah. That works. Oh, this... <laughs> this is a little generous. That That's fine. Um, right. Oh, that's an interesting little motor. Not seen that one before. Yep. So basically, my rook doesn't promote unless I immediately promote it. But promoting the rook doesn't help me too much either, because I don't have enough pieces to attack. Yeah, I did avoid the situation where my rook gets completely trapped. So, uh, it was in that regard pleasant, but yeah, uh, it would have been nice if I'd seen half of the attacking ideas before they landed right on my king. Uh, at least now I have some idea what they are. Yeah, 
I need to do much better defending my king. Yeah. Oh, there's... <laughs> there's nothing here. There's a lot of fun ideas, but... Like, my king's getting mated, so I need a checkmate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you rushed, I could have played a little trickier, sure. This is true. Um, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, saw that. Yep, you can win this way, you can win that way. This is true. Um... Uh, yeah. Ha! We got Lily to worry for a moment. That's my achievement this game. Getting my opponent to worry for one moment. Yeah. Even this, I'm... It's extremely hard for me to hold on, but that's... Better than completely dead lost. We'll certainly take this as an upgrade, um, but I'm still quite hosed here. Um, yeah, uh, I guess academically speaking, you're in a threat, mate. Sure. Uh, well, I guess my bishop does make this a bit scary. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, this is why I opted for the scary move, but it doesn't work, so that's okay. But yeah, if I had defended a little bit earlier, it wouldn't have cost me as much to defend. Hmm, that's interesting. Wow. Yeah, that is nice. That's a very powerful threat. Um, right, and then I guess uh, if I don't have a threat mate, then um, yeah, I just made it there. Yeah, let me see if I can get... Uh, do I still have a command to link to a brief tutorial? Okay, yes I do. Very good. Right, yeah, so... Yeah, here I'm getting mated. Um, well... I have four pieces in hand, and it's still not enough. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything here. Um, right, you just run away. And... Um, okay, how far can we... I guess we run out of places to run, don't we? Um, wait, no, I think that's... 
Okay, this is, yeah, you're right. That's a better way about it. All right, so... Jeez. Uh, so... What do we do now? Um... Hmm. Yeah, I guess that threat's actually quite strong, isn't it? So four pieces in hand is too many. Yeah, uh, gold is often very useful to help checkmate. Yeah, this is a good move. Hmm. Right, so... Yeah, it's funny. Lily considered all these fun things while well, I missed every one of these ideas. Uh, so that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, maybe... Well, no, I have nothing here. I just made it. Yeah, you're welcome. Do enjoy learning the rules of the game, etc. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good game. Um, yeah, it went more or less how I expected, so... Can't be too disappointed. Um, so... There's just a lot of confusing things in this, in Shogi. And one thing I've... I don't know, I tend to always sacrifice material when it's my time to attack. And that tends to get me in a lot of trouble. But yeah, I think best play would be something like this. And it's just better for Gota, but also complicated. I've got to study a lot more on how to attack a castle that's well defended, because it's because sometimes we'll meet an opponent who will defend everything else and just makes it really difficult to find any way in. So yeah, turkey stuff. Oh, yeah, no, that's a good point. Do I still have a link for that, too, or a command for that? I don't still have that. Strange. Did I not call that something else? I guess not. Yeah, that works. But yeah, this would have been complicated, but probably earlier in the game even I should do something more interesting. I don't even know what. Um, should have stuck to my guns and kept this diagonal closed, maybe. But it makes everything much harder. Yeah. No. Either that or I should just not play bad openings. And try to learn to play better openings. They tell me not to focus too much on the opening, but sometimes it does matter. So, interesting game.